Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here or if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So it's time for another update and I think this is update number 29 which is really amazing to me anyway because uh, update 30 coming soon, my goodness. Anyways, um, yeah, so uh, for those of you new to this channel, this update video is basically a part of the series that I'm doing called uh, Atelier at Home Training where I uh, am doing a self-study basically of uh, the classical method of drawing and painting. So yeah, so as always what I'm gonna be doing is starting off with the drawing and then going into the painting which is really amazing because I actually have paintings to show which I haven't um, done in a while right as if you know if you guys have um, seen my older videos anyway so yeah to start off with the drawing um, I'm doing just to recap I'm doing the uh, studies of the plates from the artistic anatomy book and the last update I did was this one so starting off from there there's not much in terms of a uh, of this one because I will explain why so this is the next one that I did and this one for some freaking reason actually took me a long time yeah so um, but also because I only have uh, I only devote about 10 minutes a night for this so this took about maybe five days because I really wanted to be kind of accurate about it so yeah this is a thoracic cage plate uh, 9 and if you guys have the book it's on page 149 so that's why that took a while and then the next one is this one here I can't remember which bone this is so forgive me and then this one right here is a hip bone so this one I actually labeled also the reason this uh, drawings take me a while is because I actually am trying to learn the name of the parts as I draw them so I mean ask me if I remember all of them no I do not <laughs> but I'm trying okay and then this one here is a male pelvis this one also took me a few days and the next one is the the lateral aspect and then I stopped uh, this is the last one I've done and it's unfinished so this is a male female um, the female pelvis so I did the male here and then uh, the female but yeah like I probably still have about two days left of work to do for this one so that is it in terms of the drawing and now for the painting as I mentioned in the last last update I was doing the I was gonna try doing the Exercises from this book, How to Paint Landscapes Beautifully, Quickly and Beautifully in Watercolor and Gouache by Nathan Bao. So that's what I ended up doing. And, um, okay, so, okay, I'll just explain. So the first thing I did is I did an exercise here, this one, where you basically just mix colors, three contrasting colors plus white. So this one I did, and then the next one that I did is a, like a study of this demo that he did on uh, composing an image, I think. So these are the steps, and this is the final painting. So I will show the uh, process video here now of how I did this two exercises
so yeah so just to show you guys again this is the <clears throat> the result of the first exercise that i did which is the the three colors three contrasting colors for each square mixed with uh, gouache so basically what nathan Fox uh uses is um like uh, mainly watercolor and then white gouache so to add a uh, opacity to the paints and then oops and this is uh the the copy I'm, am i happy with it i mean it's very crude compared to to his work but um it's just basically me getting back into watercolor so i'm not gonna harp on too much about it so yeah so what ended up happening after i did this is i decided uh just to get a, a better uh understanding of the book i decided to enroll in schoolism uh because nathan Fawkes has a few horses there and one of them is actually tied to this book so yeah so i will show you guys basically what I ended up doing a process video because I ended up doing uh, I think the first exercise for sure anyways I'll, I'll just show the process video right now and then I'll explain after so Nathan Fox has a um, sorry excuse my voice um, has a landscape sketching course which is basically his book um, he has a, an online course on schoolism so i decided to subscribe for a month so that i can do the course and yeah so that is about it i'll let you guys know how um the course is and uh, i'll just be uh, watching the videos for now all right actually just to give you guys a, a clue of what is in here i think there's about uh nine lessons and it's about 13 hours long so right now there's like lesson videos and then feedback videos oops i don't know if you guys can see and then the assignments okay all right bye online course that Nathan Fawkes has has a uh, nine parts in it and I basically watched the first three but in terms of the exercises the ones I showed were actually just for part one which is a simple statement yes simple statement so just to recap again so for the simple statement the first part of that exercise is uh, doing master copies and basically he actually wanted um, for the assignment he wanted uh, 10 10 studies 
10 master studies of the simple statement which which is actually good if you have the whole week to do it but i kind of just did it in one day for that one so this are the the first yeah the first one i did and then the second this is oh sorry oh my gosh this is from the group of seven book and the artist for this one that i did is uh, lauren harris and then the second study that i did is uh, by one of my favorite artists jeremy mann and it's this one right here i've done uh i really love his work jeremy mann so i've done the flip through of this sketchbook that he has plus another one yeah so the style of jeremy mann is pretty much the same I find in terms of looseness with Nathan Fox, but Nathan Fox does his in watercolor and gouache and Jeremy Mann does his in watercolor. So yeah, so this, I did the thumbnail as you guys could probably see, I did the thumbnail first and then these are the simple statement studies and they are just in uh, black and white. Am I happy with it? Again, it's, you know, I mean, it's a simple statement so and he actually just uh and nathan falk said you know just do them in a short amount of time like 20 minutes i think so i didn't really spend much time doing them so they were really fun to do and no pressure you know but in terms of accuracy no it's not very accurate i find uh, the value but that's okay so um and then i thought you know what will he will this stuff that he's teaching nathan falk is teaching is transferable to oil painting and he he did say in the video that um they're very like the actual method you can pretty much use any medium even digital so i decided to do the study the black and the simple statement study of this one into oil painting and i will show that here now the process video anyway okay so uh as you guys might have seen um i actually did use my phone as well because of what i did is took a picture of the paintings and then made it into a grayscale just to kind of give me more an idea of the value the value scale yeah so and this is the oil painting result of the simple statement study of the oh, it's so wet, jeremy man sketch do it side by side so honestly guys because um if you guys have seen my older videos uh you will know that i'm the most familiar with oil paints in terms of medium so honestly i enjoyed doing this a lot more than the watercolor gouache just because oil painting to me it's like coming back to an old friend right even though i haven't done oil painting in a few months i think weeks yeah it's been a while so it was just nice to kind of get back into it so i really enjoyed that which means i really have to work on my watercolor and gouache because i gotta push myself and not get stuck into what i'm comfortable with so so yeah so the next like i said i've seen the first three parts so after the simple statement it's uh, another simple statement uh study but 
uh, in real like uh, not a master copy of uh, paintings but actual actual landscape and it's winter here right now where I am so I'll probably have to do that with just pictures and then the third one that I'm watching or there's yeah that I'm watching that I just finished it anyways it's the limited palette so almost like the Zorn palette um, uh, pal Zorn palette basically yeah which is that one right there I, which I've done in oil painting so I'm kind of excited to do that with uh, watercolor anyways that is it sorry for the rambling but as always um, if you guys have any questions please feel free to comment down below don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much you guys for watching bye